Hey everyone, Muckle at Douglas Bartholomew Original Death Squad the Fourth here, and this is a guide to the challenge mode of the Jade Junkyard Strike Mission in Guild Wars 2. Now let's get to the point. Like most challenge modes, your group will need a respectable level of damage and healing output. Make sure both groups have the standard boons, food buffs, etc. CC is also quite important for this, so bring crowd control skills. When you zone in, activate the challenge mode immediately next to you to begin. Differences from normal mode. At the top right is a bar that reads inevitability of death. This is like an enrage timer, basically there to prevent you from stacking nine healers and turtling your way through the fight. This bar resets whenever she phases and moves to a new area. Her normal attacks have many more circles and projectiles than normal mode. Stay together when possible so your healers can keep you up. The worms spawn continuously and will get in the way. Epidemic and other cleaving skills are great for clearing them out. The mechanic with the undead quaggins is much larger and more dangerous than before. It is basically an instant downstate if this hits you. The vacuum into the death puddle, the red circles that need to be run away from the group, and the lich that needs to be kited work the same as they do on normal mode. At 75% she runs to begin phase 2. She keeps all previous abilities plus a new one. When she summons the three adds that need to be interrupted, if any of them don't get interrupted in time, she will get a permanent buff, increasing her damage output and defenses. If you get to phase 3, any buffs from phase 2 will be removed, but if she gets any buffs in phase 3, those will last until the end of the fight. At 40%, she runs for phase 3 and loses any buffs she might have gained. In phase 3, you will get a stacking, damaging debuff. This is easily seen from the darkness creeping in on the edges of your screen. The debuff is removed and you become immune to the debuff for a short time if you touch one of the white circles, giving you a buff called called Sanctuary. When she summons the three adds that need to be interrupted, she will also summon a large eye that will start destroying the safe zones. It can be DPS'd or CC'd to be stopped. If left alone, it will teleport from crystal to crystal, destroying all the safe zones. We handled this by having all DPS focus the eye the moment it spawned, and all supports immediately start seeing the three adds. Once the DPS were done killing the eye, they then joined in with with CCing as many ads as possible. If all your safe zones are destroyed, you won't live long, so the eye is the top priority here. Other mechanics from normal mode still exist, like the drive-by vacuum mobs and the lich that grabs hold of people and needs to be destroyed to free them. Get her to zero under those conditions, and you win. Now you know how to get nasty in a junkyard. You're welcome. Click these links.